Hi, it's WRTV's Ray Steele. I hope you like this video. In fact, I hope you will click that like button down there and click the subscribe button too so you don't miss the new stuff. Or you can click the subscribe button at the end of this video. Really appreciate it. We just hit you with a lot of Shakespeare here recently. We had Shakespeare and hip hop before. As you can see, Matthew Sosie is here, so you know we're not doing hip hop today, oh, probably. Man. It's it's probably a pretty good bet. Uh, but Matthew Sosie and Afton Shepard, who is a cast member in the upcoming Bard Fest production. Yes, Bard Fest is back, and it's Shakespeare. It's a Midsummer Night's Dream, so it's a classic, and it's going to be at Arts for Lawrence coming up. First of all, welcome. How are you? Hey, Ray. Good to Hi. see you again. Thank you for having us. Well, thank Pleasure. you for uh, for being here uh, for the first time, Afton. And uh, now you're a cast member. You're playing who? I play, I do, do a double hitter. I am Hippolyta as well as Titania, the Queen of the Fairies. For those who don't know Midsummer Night's Dream, that would be who? What, what's, what's your role? Well, um, Hippolyta, she was the Queen of Athens mm -hmm. and she is marrying Theseus, mm -hmm. which is the Duke of Athenia, which is where our play takes place. And Titania is the Queen of the Fairies and she lives in the forest where all the chaos ensues. Yes. So. <laughs> Now, yeah, without giving away too much, A Midsummer Night's Dream, people might have seen, uh, if you've seen the classic uh, Robin Williams movie, Dead Poets Society, that was a, a prominent part of, of that movie. Yep. But of course, you know, my, my first exposure to Midsummer Night's Dream was the old, old movie with James Cagney. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's, Mickey that's not bad. That's not, there was one in the 90s with uh, Michelle Pfeiffer playing your mm -hmm. role, Kevin okay. Klein, Stanley Tucci, it's really, really good. There's one in the late 60s, guys. There's one with uh, Helen Mirren and Diana Rigg from the late 60s. You're welcome. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. But no, it's a, there's kind of three stories going on. We have these, we have four lovers who just can't quite connect, and when they do connect, it's for all the wrong reasons. Um, we have the king and queen of the fairies are, uh, who are having a major argument with their child involving their child and their relationship and then there's a play within a play where a group of uh, blue collar people are putting on a play for the king and queen for uh, Theseus and Hippolyta or as I call them in this show Big Daddy and Big Mama it's it's she says Athens I'm setting it in Athens Louisiana it's in oh, modern perfect. day Louisiana yeah. okay it's it's an outdoor venue so uh, and it's ASCAP BMI friendly so I'm pumping all the New Orleans music so yeah, it's there's no hip-hop but you'll hear uh, Cajun Zydeco blues R and B, all the all the good big. We have a band opening for us, the Pork and Beans Brass Band. Mm. Are opening. We have an opening act. Uh, they're going to play <laughs> six thirty before our seven thirty performance. Now Matthew's directing this production yes. of Midsummer Night's Dream, so that's uh, you know why it's. Well, I mean. He, and every Shakespeare play, you can set it wherever you want because so many people have done that that's, over the years. That's the beauty of Shakespeare. This is a midsummer like no other, as, I, as I've said. And uh, the reason why we're still doing his plays is because uh, the characters and the actions and the behavior are just still relevant today. You know, we have lovers who can't quite connect. Puck, who is the, is, I, I think of as the original minion for Oberon, who just cannot do the right thing mm -hmm. and then has to cor have it corrected. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it's going to be very relatable. And I will say to parents, um, if, you're, if your kids are fans of Princess and the Frog, Disney's Princess and the Frog, yep. this would be a good gateway into Shakespeare. And I, I think Midsummer is probably the best one, uh, Shakespeare 101 if you're uh, new to the Bard's work. Mm -hmm. Now, Afton, have you uh, done plays under Matthew before? Yes, we um, oh, we actually met yeah. doing okay. Shakespeare. We, yeah, we, we were, were doing, doing Henry IV. I was playing mm -hmm. Falstaff, and she was a, a, a warrior <laughs> unlike any yeah. other. This is actually our third, we've, the last three shows uh, I've worked on. Mm -hmm. She's like a good luck charm. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, <laughs> now, Falstaff, that was when you were in here. Were you in here with Abdul that time? Yeah, that's, yeah. And Abdul has the crown that he's still, our he still friend Hakeem Shabazz, wears. political <laughs> insider. <laughs> that he, I'm surprised he doesn't wear the crown during our political segments. Yeah. No. Yeah. So no, this is uh, we did Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? We did mm -hmm. Plaza Suite, and now we're doing this. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, with Indie Bard Fest, they like to do a show before the four shows that are done is in a festive mode, mm -hmm. and then they'll do a show afterwards. So, uh, and this is uh, we're doing it at Arts for Lawrence which is where we did Elizabeth Rex, which was a show the two of us were in as actors. But this is an outdoor space. So we're christ it's a brand new outdoor venue and we're christening it with our show. Hmm. So you can bring uh, you can bring lawn chairs, you can bring picnic baskets. We're going to have food trucks. Like I said there's going to be a band. It's free. 
It's free. That's a big deal. But you got to go to IndieBardFest.com and go online and make a reservation, but there'll be plenty of grass space for you to come and watch Shakespeare for free. And that's the 21st through the 24th right. of this month at uh, Arts for Lawrence. Now, uh, Afton, have you, you've done Shakespeare before, obviously. Do you, you prefer Shakespeare over other types of roles? Do you just act as to you know, what whatever is out there? What do you well, prefer? Well, I mean, they're all different uh, types of rodeos, but I mean, with what comes with Shakespeare is this inspiration that ins like birthed everything else that we have in theater. And it's wonderful, it's me melodic, mm -hmm. it's just fun and silly too. I think we it's always so say really it's so silly and zany and you just cannot not have fun when you're doing Shakespeare. You get all the costumes and all the fun, it's, it's delight. So I do love doing Shakespeare so, just because uh, it's fun. <laughs> and, 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 and I think that's the thing about seeing Shakespeare live as opposed to, because you know, a lot of our first exposures to Shakespeare was probably in literature class, English class oh, in high school, I'm, and I'm sorry where you're reading that. it. In <laughs> yeah, no, I mean you're reading it in, in the monotone voice that most people oh, read gosh, in when yeah. you're in high school, and, and then you see it live, and you see everything come alive. Whether you're using the the old Shakespearean language, whether you've updated it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's. I mean, it's it's kind of like watching a foreign film. Maybe the first five minutes you might feel like you're you know you're in the weeds because there's a lot of these and thines and thous, but if you just watch Watch the behavior and watch the characters respond and react with each other. Um, you'll understand it. That's why I mentioned, you know, we have lovers who, it's it's a, it's Shakespeare's original rom-com, mm -hmm. uh, I think. There's, you know, there's mom and dad who are having trouble. There's, uh, you know, these, these actors that are trying to put on a show. The play within the play is, I think, one of my favorite moments in Shakespeare that he's ever written. And you'll see it unlike any other version of, uh, of Pyramus and Thisbe. This is a true original. I, I won't tell you what, but it's going to be a blast. All right, so free show, 21st through the 24th at Arts for Lawrence, Midsummer Night's Dream, part of Bard Fest. And as, as you said, Matthew, you've got lots more Bard Fest to come. That's right. Later so we'll, in be, the year. we'll be back. But yeah, uh, Pork and Beans Brass Band start at 6 30 p.m., yep. the play starts at 7 30 p.m. Um, it's just going to be a, a great night of theater. All right, just go online and register. It is free, but they ask that you register. We'll have the link at WRTV.com. Afton Shepard in the cast of A Midsummer Night's Dream, Matthew Sosi, the director. It's good to see you all. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks. All right, go see it. Uh, WRTV.com, all the info is there.